Hello guys, welcome back to Geology Concepts. Now in this video, we will discuss the physical properties of minerals. I have also previously in my one of the mineralogy, mineralogy videos briefly mentioned it, but now we will see it in a bit detail. Okay? So let's get started. So I have used the pictures of my notes to explain the things. I think it's easier that way and I'm more comfortable with it and uh, uh, this I think will be easier for me also to cover the topic in this short time okay so let's get started so physical properties first we see there is color color why do you think there is color color is because absorption you know absorption of light and there is certain part is reflected so we, what we see is the reflected part so the color that we see is the light that come to our eyes which is reflected by the mineral and some of it is absorbed so the the reflected light is the appearing color of the mineral but uh, this is not a definite property because many minerals have same colors and also the like uh, you can see their quartz crystal it can have variable colors because of presence of impurities okay like amethyst we know amethyst uh, uh, quartz variable has a purple like color because of uh, impurity of manganese so this uh, color is a property but it's not a dis distinctive property or very main property which you can on the basis of which we can identify minerals okay okay so next is a streak what is streak a streak is when we rub a mineral against a harder surface harder than the mineral itself then it produces a white powder or a, uh, it produces a powder mostly it is white but uh, the powder is called a streak okay now hematite we know hematite is a black mineral this is the most notable example if any question from a streak will come this is the most probable question that uh, hematite is a black mineral but its streak is of red color okay and uh, not a definite test it is not a definite test because the most of the colorless mineral give a white strike so on the basis of this you cannot identify it okay this is distinctive for hematite okay so this is it then moving on the third property third physical property of uh, minerals is luster luster or luster whatever you want to call it it is the general appearance of the mineral surface in light okay so when the light falls on a surface and how it appears is the luster it can be metallic as you can see here there are various types it can be metallic it can be submetallic edmontine edmontine is the luster of diamond so it's given this is a peculiar structure of uh, uh, diamond uh, surface structure is called edmontine okay then there is vit vitreous the quartz is vitreous then pearly luster then greasy luster talc is greasy if you have touched talc you will know uh, you, you might be knowing that it's a, it has a very greasy feel like graphite graphite is also very you know greasy feel so this is the th third property okay so moving on next okay the fourth property is the hardness okay one of the useful properties of the minerals now it depends on the ductility elasticity it stiffness plasticity strain strength toughness viscoelasticity and viscosity various other properties of minerals it depends on that and what is hardness when uh, uh, when a harder mineral is uh, rubbed or scratched again uh, against a mineral which is less harder it it uh, produces a scratch on the other mineral which is less harder so this is uh, on the basis of this we uh, we decide which one is harder or which one is less harder okay so it, it is a useful property okay next uh, next now we'll go into the mohs scale which is the most important thing of uh, hardness uh, of most common for measuring hardness then this is the the hardness which uh, mohs scale talks about is the scratch hardness okay so in scratch hardness we have the list of uh, you know uh, like we have talc then we have gypsum we have calcite then fluorite then apatite okay then which has a hardness of five this so this this here is a list of uh, hardness increasing okay and this here this you see is a absolute hardness 
so according to this from the right hand left hand side gypsum and calcite so if gypsum is nine times and calcite is if gypsum is three times calcite is nine times fluoride is 21 times okay so absolute hardness is on this side okay device which is used is, cl is clarometer and uh, other hardness scale include we don't have to look into the detail of other hardness you should know the name okay so you should just know the name of other scales as rockwell is there there is vickers there is shore and brinell okay these are the hardness types okay and this is the most scale this is important okay this Okay, the so next is habit. Habit is nothing but the state of aggregation. A state of aggregation means the shape in which the mineral is naturally found. Some are found in fibrous form, okay. Some are found in bladed form. Some are in columnar joints, type of columnar. They are found in columns, okay. Then they are some are acicular or needle shape. Then they are foliated. Some are granular, like. Uh, you know this uh, igneous granular rocks then there are tabular forms okay and then the sheet like structure so these are uh, habits habits means what is the habit of that mineral to stay in which habit it stays in the natural form if undisturbed okay so this is one property next is electric property so this is the last property in this list of the physical property electric, electric property is that some uh, elements produce electricity on giving different physical condition okay so first is like pyroelectricity pyroelectricity means development of charges when temperature is changed generally when temperature is increased in this case in the the mineral develops charges so this is quartz for example quartz is an example of pyroelectricity yes, a mineral that gives pyroelectricity piezoelectricity is the development of electric charges when there is pressure pressure or by tension if you give some tension or some pressure then it will produce electric charges again quartz is the example then there is photoelectricity now, this is a very rare type of uh, electric property in which electricity is produced when some mineral is exposed to radiations okay so fluoride is an example of this radiation okay and some of these are reversible in nature means if you give tension then there is electric charges and if there is electric charges then it will produce some kind of tension or you can see here also no not all piece piece electricity i think is uh, reversible i mean it works both ways okay so this is it okay for this video and uh, like the video and please comment do you like this kind of uh, approach where i put photos of uh, images of my notes in the video so that it's easier for me and it's also very quick you know i don't have to go into all, all trouble of making all the slides and you know it's it's very hectic in this way i can also give you more deeper understanding because these are my notes and i'm comfortable with it and you can also learn how to prepare notes okay so tell me in the comments and please like this video subscribe to know your planet better